Arandes constituency councillor Benita Imbamba has called for the Ministry of Labour to investigate exploitative labour practices in Hendis Bay. Imbamba has alleged that many unskilled and low-income workers are subjected to unfair labour practices and that their cries to the Ministry of Labour have gone unanswered. We are here today in Hendis Bay. Hendis Bay is currently under Arandes constituency. And in Hendis Bay, we are experiencing lots of workers' problems. These workers' problems are from workers that are doing domestic work at some constructions, at some food uh, um, supermarkets, and, and, and so forth. The experience that we are experiencing here in Hendis Bay is like people are really, really don't respect our, our workers. And they must know that the workers is the very important, um, very, they are very, very much important if it comes to work because without people you cannot, you cannot, you cannot make it. Now the experience that we are experiencing there, you will find yourself whereby the workers are be paying peanuts saying being paying peanuts there are no minimum wages here in Hendis Bay they don't respect that part they will pay you as they wish but workers are working for longer hours you will find that a person have worked for more than five years more than ten years this person qualifies to be to to be to, to benefit from the social security commission but this person will find himself or herself in a situation whereby he is not registered with social security. And these workers are suffering. At the end of the day, we have got experience, especially if it comes to women, where women will find themselves in maternity and uh, upon, um, uh, upon claiming their, their, their money from social security, they find out that there is no registra registration done for them. There are no contracts, I mean agreements, agreements between the employer and the employee so that they can use this as a, as, as a chance if it comes to the person's pension and so on. So these are all situations that we find ourselves in. People are being, using, being used and being work, and, and they are working like slaves of the old era, which must not be the case. In Hendis Bay. We are sitting with a case, for example, of uh, Brikau. Brikau chased 34 workers without being paid those workers. This case is of 2014. And as I'm speaking currently, the case is was with uh, the Ministry of Labor. The company was found guilty, but yet this case is an outstanding case, or I must call it a pending case which must not be the case. So therefore, I think it's time for the Ministry of Labor, the unions, and everybody involved to come in and assist us in this handies by, because we cannot take it this way anymore. Sakaria Ipangelwa is one of many handies by residents who have claimed that they have been dismissed from work unfairly. My name is Sakaria Ipangelwa. A resident of Hendis Bay. I used to work for Mr. Keratus as a gardener. And then my father passed away. I then called my boss to tell him about my father's passing. He responded that if I go to my father's funeral, I should not return to his company. I thought he was joking. After I returned, he handed me a letter and asked me to sign it and then paid me $500 dollars. And I thought the money was for the fact that I was experiencing a difficulty due to my father's funeral. I do not know how to read English. The letter said that I should not come back to work and that he was firing me. I worked for him for 10 years. I took the letter to Councillor Ibamba and she asked me why I signed that. I told her that he asked me to sign but I did not know what the letter was about.
Ipangelwa's former employer, Burmeister, denied Ipangelwa's claims, stating that Ipangelwa actually resigned from his work and subsequently returned asking for money owing to the fact that he worked for 10 years. Ipangelwa allegedly threatened to take legal action against his former employer, which is why he was given 500 Namibian dollars and made to sign a document stating that he would not take further action. Martin Pokolo is one of 34 people who were successful in their arbitration against their former employer who unfairly dismissed them. Despite their victory, their former employer still failed to pay them, which led to them approaching the High Court for a ruling, which ruled in their favor. Their former employer, Helmut Rakao, has now appealed the ruling. My name is Martin Kapolo. I'm in Irongo region and this bay. This, this is about an issue, issue of Brikau, where we worked for many years and then dismissed unlawfully. I was a supervisor. When the workers had issues, I would speak to our employer on their behalf and vice versa. The day on which we were dismissed from work, our employer did not speak to me about the issues he had. We were 34 and two people even passed away and their families are still here. We won our case, but till this day, he has not paid us. We endured abuse in the, at the hands of our employer. He would not allow us to have lunch on the premises because he did not want, he doesn't want dogs to eat any leftovers we left. He would also use foul language. Even the manager was the same way. Therefore, we did not have anyone to turn to. We would like to thank Council Ibamba for efforts in our case. Some of these people still have not found employment. I was lucky to find a job working for the Chinese. I feel sorry for them. We still have not received our payment. The white people in Hendispai are abusing people, even if we cannot say about much about it. Especially when they use foul language. There was an incident where our employer went to collect a woman from the bathroom and, in, and invaded her privacy. He claimed that she was taking too long. Helmut Rakao could not be reached for comment as he was out of the country.